Hi, my name is Arminia. Um, I'm here at my garden, which is called the Desert Secret Garden. And I enjoy being here. But I wanna show you um, my corn because I'm proud of my corn. And, um, and I'd like to show you a little bit about it, uh, how I grow corn and um, how it's uh, doing. It's almost ready, so let's go. Okay, so this is some of my corn. Uh, as you can see, it's almost ready. It should probably take another two weeks, but I have a bunch of pollinators, bees, that are enjoying the corn. And well, this is my garden. Some of, some of my winter veggies that I'm growing, radishes, um, cabbage, cauliflower, um, beans, and some tomatoes that are early tomatoes. They should be ready uh by november so um this is a passion fruit and i have two stages of corn so this is the youngest one and this one is the oldest one that is almost ready and i wanted to show you the bcbs that are here pollinating so what they do is they shake the tassel and the pollen lands on the silk of the corn i'll show you um, they actually don't really need the bees because the corns pollinate the corn pollinates with the wind so when the wind moves the corn around uh, the pollen from the top here moves and it falls so it lands on the silk which is that the hairs of the corn see these are babies so that's why all that pollen is landing on them so they can create or form a corn a full corn uh, and so what happens is that each little hair um, brings the powder the pollen in and it turns it into a kernel actually it makes a kernel so the pollen from here goes all the way in and it makes a kernel so that's why if we don't get a full corn it means that it didn't get a good pollination so um if for any reason there is no wind there is no bees we have to pollinate by hand, by getting a brush, getting some powder, some pollen from the top, and then brushing it on the silk. And so um, that way we get some corn, some full corn. And this is here in Las Vegas, so it's in the desert. And I've been growing this corn for quite a few years. And I always get good results um it's really sweet so it's called the mirai corn sweet corn and we really enjoy eating it even raw you can you don't have to cook it it's so nice oh look at the bees they are busy working wow i love watching them i've been watching them for like three mornings um and every morning i come out i just can't wait to get up and come and look at the bees. Um, they are, they are really, really busy. So anyways, um, if you have any questions about the corn or if you wanna come and see it for yourself, you can always come and visit. I'm here in Las Vegas. Um, I can send the address on the comments if you ask me for it. And, um, if you have any questions also, I, I help answering questions about growing um, any veggies, about growing food in Las Vegas. Um, I do consulting, I do classes. Uh, I try to help as much as I can so people can grow their own food and 
and eat fresh vegetables. There's nothing better than eating your own uh, homegrown veggies and fruit trees and basically anything you want to grow you can actually not everything not like the tropicals but a lot of the a lot of the fruit trees and veggies you can you can produce here you can grow here and uh if you like the video please uh give me a like or subscribe to my channel so i can um so you can enjoy all my coming up videos i'll be posting a lot or uploading a lot of them and so um anyway thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye bye